Hey. Hey, David. As soon as I hit record, David walked in. That was interesting. <clears throat> um, last night, Dominic and I, well, we went to meet up with David and uh, Cassie and Gordon and Chris and uh, Eric. It was Eric's birthday, so we went over to... Um, God. Hey, David, what was the name of that place? On 6th and Fairfax, some Irish place. Maggie O. McConnell's or something. I don't know. But me and Dominic went late. We stayed here. They went to a, the Roosevelt Hotel to drink first, but we stayed here and we were just talking, and we recorded it. And I'm going to put it up later. It's like an hour long. It's intense. For me. Like I opened up about sexuality for me, which is like to say, talk about my own sexuality, what my body really wants pleasure all the time. And I, I have to be aware of it. I have to not be ashamed of it. Because if I'm ashamed of it, then it'll go do stuff. But if I'm aware and talk about it, then it just, it's, it's, you have control of it. I have control of it. Um, Anyway, we went, we left, we were like, oh shit, it was 11, we were supposed to be there at 11, so we were like, oh, we gotta go. So we, we got the directions, uh, he remembered the directions, and then we went, and at, right before we got there, I looked on the directions, and at the bottom it said, $7 cover, and Dominic was like, oh, fuck, and I thought, well, I could cover it, but all I have, I had a $100 bill on me that I had, had got from work, I would cashed in all my 20s, and, and like, three ones because I bought McDonald's a little bit before that and uh, so I didn't want to break a hundred and I didn't even know if the door guy could and he was like fuck and he was all disheartened about it and was like I just we should just go home I know we're almost there but we should still just go home and I thought no no because there I think that we can manifest I think that we cannot pay we can do anything. We can do anything. We manifest our reality. We won't pay the cover. We won't have to. And he was like, uh, he got kind of nervous about it. I was like, no, you have to manifest it. Don't, you know, don't be afraid of it. You can just say it, believe it. And so he was like, oh, okay. And then he, as we were walking, he said, maybe we could just go in the back door. And I thought, mm, it was like tempting, but it was like fear. So I said, no. So we went over to the front. And the dude was sitting there with money in his hand, the door guy. I was like, fuck. My initial impulse was, fuck, there's a door guy. But then immediately I was like, hey, man, are you guys still charging a cover? And he uh, it was even more comfortable than that. I was nervous just now saying it because it's a nerve-wracking thing to do. But I said, hey, man, are you guys still char charging cover? And he uh, looked at me. And it was like he knew everything that I knew. We mirrored each other in this moment. Because he knew I'd worked as a door guy and, you know, had let people in. That's the way, you know, it's the way the door guy thing works. It's not about the money. It's never about, about the money with people, with humanity. It's always about the people. That's it. So I connected with him and then he was like, uh, yeah. Yeah, come on. And he stamped our hands and let us in. And Dominic was like, oh, my God. And I said, I know. And then I said, I, but we can't, we can't give over to it. We can't be like, this is so great. Look what we did. We manifested. Like, it's all, it's just reality. You can't get excited about it because then it becomes, you just go out of control. You go overboard. You go crazy. You isolate. It's everything is connecting to everything. It's not like I'm doing it all. I'm just connected to everything. We all are. It's getting deep. That word deep. What does it even mean? It's just, it's getting deeper. Today, as I was driving home from work, I was pulling out of the, I went and got gas. And I was pulling out of the gas station. I connected with the ga the gas guy. I was really talking to him. Then I avoided eye contact with this girl 
that was pumping gas next to my tank. I'm, I'm very intimidated by women. They're interesting to me. Um, I'm interested in watching my video. Oh my gosh, Terry, your Happy New Year video is featured on the director videos on the side of the page. Dude, Terry. That's huge, man. This is this is all huge. This whole YouTube experience is unbelievable for everybody involved. Everybody, I even if people just come and watch videos and the people that comment in text, although like there's so many people in text that I see over over and over for, I've seen for so long, like I know you. But I and I don't know you though. Like I don't know you yet. I want you guys to get video cameras and start posting. Let me see. Oh, so like, oh, these are Warren's comments. That's why. Like TV guitars. Come on, dude. <laughs> and maybe, maybe you are. See, maybe it's my own ignorance, but for some reason I feel like you're not posting. Yeah, you don't have any videos up yet. Dude. I'm gonna subscribe to you right now. I would like to see more from you, dude. Makes me a little nervous to say it, but that's just because it violates the social norm in a way. But what does that mean? It's fucking rubbish. The social norm doesn't exist. There is no social norm. We make everything and we kind of do it how we're told to do it and that's just the way that, that the the body the consciousness works i guess which is why youtube videos are for me are so effective is because i'm able to tell people things and i'm able to ex have a lot of people experience my experience with me hmm but so this is a human condition though so we have to be aware of it because it can get out of hand in truth it's about you and your journey. And I say you for all of us because I'm going to watch this and experience this. And it's just positive words. It's just like we can all do it. We can all really... So we are. See, I wish you could respond. Otherwise, you're just going to feel frustrated. I wish you could spot, respond right now. Well, maybe you are. Maybe that's why I'm pausing. I have thoughts. Maybe we're all thinking the same thing. But like with different words, you know? Self-hatred. I have self-hatred. Everyone has self-hatred. When we get angry and we think angry thoughts, I think everyone's doing it. So in the moments when I can let go of, of my angry thoughts and just talk to people and, and be humble and fuck the physical reality, fuck all the things. Although this homeless shelter is really on my mind because integrity is incredibly important to me and it's just... <sighs> so I was thinking about it today. I was thinking about it yesterday. People talk about it. It's, it's on my mind. So I'm going to go. For real. And I'm going to take Dominic. Or David. Or both. I'll ask them if they'd like to go. But I'm sure they will. Alright man. I really got off track. I was talking about uh, today. And how, on my way home from work. Thanks for listening to these videos, by the way. But it's not about you watching my videos. It's not. We can all, we, we should all be doing this. Just free it up. All I did was just start saying the things that I was afraid to say out loud to people. 
and like as soon as one's down it, it goes away and you're not afraid anymore it happens immediately it's very interesting it's not something you forget if you keep doing it and you can take breaks I play a lot of video games still I have been and I avoid eye contact sometimes but you can you can for you can force the the connection it's not even that it's just keeping it you make it happen so I'm driving home from work and I uh, the car is a traffic coming and the traffic was really bad and I was like I'll ma I, I'll, I'll manifest I said the traffic will will slow down will stop will part for me and then a car it was just came immediately and I was like fuck this doesn't wor work and I was like no I'm not gonna think this doesn't work the the traffic will slow down for me in its in its way and then the fucking guy slowed down and in the street slowed down and stopped and just waved me in front of him And I went. I know it's, it's, I know. All right, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later. All of you, but you, all of us, I'll speak, I'll do this experience again at a different point.